Vaikra Leviticus 24. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Command at the children of Yasharael that they bring unto you pure oil, olive, beaten for the light, to cause the lamps to burn continually. Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the assembly, shall Aharon order it from the evening unto the morning before Yahuwah continually. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. He shall order at the lamps upon the pure menorah before Yahuwah continually. And you shall take fine flour and bake twelve cakes thereof. Two tenth deals shall be in one cake. And you shall set them in two rows, six on a row, upon the pure table before Yahuwah. And you shall put pure frankincense upon each row, that it may be on the bread for a memorial, even an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. Every Shabbat he shall set it in order before Yahuwah continually, being taken from the children of Yasharael by an everlasting covenant. And it shall be a Haran's and his sons, and they shall eat it in the holy place, for it is most holy unto him of the offerings of Yahuwah, made by fire by a perpetual statute. And the son of a Yashara elite woman, whose father was a Mitri, went out among the children of Yashara El. And this son of the Yashara elite woman and a man of Yashara El strove together in the camp. And the Yashara elite woman's son blasphemed at the name of Yahuwah and cursed. And they brought him unto Moshe, and his mother's name was Shelamit, the daughter of Devri, of the tribe of Dan. And they put him in ward, that the mind of Yahuwah might be showed them. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Bring forth him at that has cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the assembly stone him. And you shall speak unto the children of Yashadael, saying, Whosoever curses his Elohim shall bear his sin. And he that blasphemes the name of Yahuwah, he shall surely be put to death, and all the assembly shall certainly stone him. As well the stranger, as he that is born in the land, when he blasphemes the name of Yahuwah, shall be put to death. And he that kills any man shall surely be put to death. And he that kills a beast shall make it good, beast for beast. And if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he has done, so shall it be done to him, breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. As he has caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. And he that kills a beast, he shall restore it. And he that kills a man, he shall be put to death. Ye shall have one manner of law, as well for the stranger as for one of your own country. For I am Yahuwah Elohechem. And Moshe spoke to the children of Yashadael, that they should bring forth him at that had cursed out of the camp, and stone him with stones. And the children of Yashadael did as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe.